One of the most important data structures that any student in computer science or engineering should learn is a singly linked list. A singly linked list demonstrates proficiency in pointers and is also a good tool to have in your bag when you're going to make bigger projects that need runtime dynamic storage. In this video, we're gonna talk about what a singly linked list is, we'll kind of draw out what the structure looks like, the different operations you can do on it, and then we'll code a linked list in C. Let's get into it. So a singly linked list, like it sounds, is pretty simple. All you really have in a singly linked list is all of these different nodes. And these nodes have different data in them. So we could say that node one has data one, node two has data two, and node three has data three. These list nodes are linked by pointers that point to the next node in the list. So here you see this arrow. This arrow represents a pointer to the next element in the list. At the end of the list, you do have a third pointer here, but this pointer points out to null, which determines that we are at the end of the list. Also typically in a singly linked list or really any linked list, you have what's called the list head. This is a statically defined area in global memory that is not in the heap that points to the beginning of the list here. So this is our singly linked list or we'll call it our SLL. Now there are a bunch of different operations you can do on a singly linked list. Uh, the first is you can add a node to the list. So we say add the number four and we would add the number four to this list. We could either do an append at the end which is a O of N operation. We have to navigate through the entire list to get to the end, or we can add to the front here. And we'll kind of show how both work in C. We can also remove an element in the list. We can write a function called remove that removes an element that matches some values. If we wanted to remove one, we could write the operation that removes this list. And then finally we have insert. So we can say that we want to insert value three at position two. And there's an operation we can do as well to make that happen. Here in our code editor, we're gonna get started on our code. So you know, we start with the boilerplate, C stuff, int main, arg C, arg V, and return zero. So the first thing we have to do is create the structure that represents a single node in our list. Remember before, like we saw in our drawing, a linked list is just a series of nodes that are connected to each other. So we have to go through and actually define that node structure in C. We're gonna type the following code type def struct. And the reason we do a type def struct is it removes the necessity to type struct before every every use of the structure, right? If we didn't say type def struct, we would have to type struct in the front. And I find that kind of annoying. So type def struct node, and that is going to represent a single node in our list. Inside of that node, we have two things. We have a void pointer, which points to the next element in the list. And then we also have int data. So this will contain the data that we're tracking in our list. Again, looking at our drawing, here we have node one, node one will be the data, and then that next pointer will point out to node two. So that's our structure, and that's all we need in terms of new structures to make our list happen. Also, we need a node pointer that is the head of the list that represents the first point that points into our list, and that will be null to begin. So now that we have all of those structures set up, we can actually write the code that does our operations. And again, those operations are gonna be a function to add a node to the list, to remove a node from the list, to insert a node into a position in the list. So what we'll do is we'll write those functions, but we need to actually create a way for the user to interact with the list. So we are going to prompt the user for a number of options to either add, remove, or insert from the list. Uh, but first we have to give them a menu. So we'll say print menu, and that menu function is just going to literally print all the options. So we'll say void print menu, and the option is gonna be you have the following options. To add a node to the list. Two is to remove a node from the list. Third is to insert a node to the list. And then the fourth is to just quit. And then we'll return our int option is while option is not equal to four. We will print the menu. We will scan F, store that in our option variable. And we'll say that int num received equals scan F. And if num received is equal to one, which means that we got a value back from the user. And also if the option is greater than zero and if the option is less than four. So we're so we'll make a switch statement that switches the following things we're allowed to do. So switch option, in the case that it is four, we'll just break. Uh, in the case that it's one, we will do our add operation. Case two, remove operation. Case three, insert operation, and that's it. 
So pretty straightforward. Now we have to actually write these functions. The function that we're gonna use to add a node to the list, we're gonna define here. And we're going to have that function return a pointer to the node that it returns. We're gonna say node pointer add node. And we're gonna say that the add node function takes an int data that we wanna to add to that list. Okay, so the algorithm for adding a node to a linked list it depends on a few edge cases. So we're gonna go back into Photoshop here and kind of w talk about what those edge cases are. So you have two cases you have to worry about when you're adding a node to a list. In the case that you have your head, remember the head is just the pointer to the rest of the list. If your head is equal to null, that means that you have an empty list. So all you have to do is allocate a node and then point the head to that node. And that's it. That is the first insertion you get to do when you're adding a node to a linked list. And then after that, if you have your head that points out to a node that already exists and you wanna add an additional node, you could do this two ways. You can do what's called a insertion at the front or an addition at the front, which is a little more complicated. And the second is to add the node at the end. The problem with adding a node to the end of a list is that you have to walk the entire list to figure out where the final pointer is equal to null. This actually makes our algorithm end up being O of N, where every time we add a node to the list, we have to walk the entire length of the list, which could be incredibly long. And over time that will you know, bog down our computer. So the algorithm for doing a addition here is as follows. So we're gonna say again, this is our head and it's a little dot and it points out to our node here. What we do is we first allocate a new node. We point the next pointer in the node to head, we make them point to the same thing. And then we make head no longer point here. And we say that head is equal to new node. Effectively, this pushes the entire list forward this way and makes head point to our new node. So every time you do this, it doesn't depend on how long the list is, it always inserts it in O of one time, constant time operation. So let's make that algorithm happen right now. So again, we have to handle our two cases. First is if the list is empty. If head double equals null, node pointer new is equal to malloc size of node. And then always check to make sure your pointers come back correct. So if if new double equals null means that like we had a significant issue in our malloc operation, we have to handle that, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. So we get back our pointer to our new uh, node and we say that the new data is equal to data, which is the data from the user, the, the value that we're actually inserting into our list. And then we say that head equals new. So this will append the new node to the front of our list. And then finally, we wanna make sure that we set the new next equal to null. So this will take care of the list. If the list is empty and we're adding a singly, a single item to it, pretty straightforward. So otherwise, if the head is not null, it's a list that is not empty, we have to do our previous operation. So this is the same thing. We take this, we malloc a new node, and we say that the new data is equal to the data. Then what we do is we say that the new next pointer is equal to the current head pointer, and then the head pointer is equal to new. And that's it. And then after that, we return the new pointer. But to make this the correct scope, we actually have to move this node new pointer out of this conditional statement, set it to null, and then just say that new equals these mallocs. Okay, there we have that. And then we return new. So now the user gets access to the new node if they wanna use it. Here we've created the way to add a node to the list and we can add as many nodes as we want. We probably should create a way for the user to print the list, right? So we'll add another uh, option. Four, we'll say print your list. We'll make five to quit and we'll change it so that if option is not equal to five and if it's greater than or equal to five, and then in case five we break and then we'll say uh, case four is our print the list. So we've created the operation to add an element to the list. Very easy. So we can test this real quick. So I want to test out our add operation, but we need to create our print operation first. So this is actually pretty simple. We'll make this a void because it shouldn't do any operations on the list. I don't need it to return anything to me. We'll say void print list. And what print list will do is it'll say node pointer current equals head while current is not equal to null print f percent d and an arrow to make it pretty. And the percent d is going to be the current data. 
and we'll say that current equals current next. So all we're doing here is we're, we have a cursor that's walking across the list. And after we do some operation on the current position in the list, we make the current pointer equal to the current next pointer. We're walking forward one iteration on that list. And then we say that we have to print F a new line to make the display pretty and we return. That's it. Walking through this, we are going to now add these operations here to our input and uh, we'll go from there. So to do the add operation, we say to the user, what data should I insert? Question mark, new line. And we'll scan F a percent D again into the option field. And we will say add node, node new equals add node. And we're gonna add the option value. There we go. And we have to break. Don't forget to have a break statement because if you don't, you'll fall through on your list. And then we're gonna add some breaks here to make our code actually function. And then number four, if we get there, we're gonna just reprint list operation. So pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's create a new terminal and see if we can't get our code to run. So GCC tag O list on main.c. Couple errors here. These are all just warnings. I'm not including standard libs. So we're gonna go ahead and include standard lib. We'll run lists. The following options, we want to print the list. So this will actually crash. Interesting, no, because it says while the current is not equal to null and it's never gonna not be null, so it just immediately returns. Okay, so add a node to the list. We wanna add four to the list. We've added four, now print the list. We printed four. Add a node to the list, one, two, three, four, five. Now we print the list again and we have one, two, three, four, five, and then four. Again, remember it adds it to the back of the list. So, okay, cool. So we have done the thing we wanted to do. We made it a list and we made the ability to add a node to that list arbitrarily. That's great. Next, we want to do the next operations in our linked list. We want to be able to remove a node from the list. What is the removal operation on a list? Let's draw it out. So let's pretend we have a linked list that has the following nodes. We have our head here, the head points out to element one, and then element two, and then element three. We are going to remove element number two from the list. So the way we have to do this is we have to actually walk it and track a previous pointer. Because when we find element two, effectively all we have to do is make the previous pointer point forward to the next pointer. That will effectively remove the links from the list and then we free this node. So we're gonna do is we're gonna walk the list and we're gonna say, get to this element, track the previous. So the previous at this point points to head. Is this thing equal to two? No, okay, move on. And we keep moving forward until we get to that point in the list. So let's do that right now. Okay, so let's write the algorithm for removing a node from the list. We have to do the same kind of thing that we did before where we keep a current node on the list and we start with the head of our list. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through starting at the head and compare the data to our to the data that we're looking for. And if we match, then you know we delete the, the node from the list. So we say, while the current is not equal to null. So if we find what we're looking for, we say if current data is equal to our data, the data from the user, we have to handle two edge cases. One is if the current node is the list head, because that changes the algorithm we have to do, right? If the current node is equal to the list head, then all we really need to do is just move the head of the list to the next element. So in this case, we would just make the head equal to two, which is our next pointer. So if current is equal to head, then we say that head equals current Next, and then otherwise, if it's not, we say that we set the previous next pointer equal to our current next pointer. What we have to do is actually create this previous pointer and we can actually set it to start at the element head as well. And in either of these cases, if we found our data, once we've removed it, we have to return one, tell the user, yep, we found the element in the list. So otherwise, if the data is not found, we say that previous is equal to the current node and the current node is equal to our next node. So we're tracking these two elements where one is always one step behind and the current node moves up one. And then eventually if we get to the end of the list and we hit the front, the very end of the list where the list uh, head is equal to null, we return zero, meaning we did not find it. So we're gonna go ahead and implement this in our list and prove that it works. So we'll take all this code here and add it to the remove option. We'll say, what data should I remove? 
I would like you to remove this node here. And it's not going to be a node pointer. It's going to be int success. And we'll say if not, or if not success, we'll just print out element not found. Get rid of our second break here. And there we go. Boom. So let's try this out. No errors. We'll run the list. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five. And we'll see if we can just remove one, two, three, four, five from the list. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what if we print our list now? Okay, so the list is empty, which is good. Add a node to the list. One, what data should I insert? We should insert 34. Let's print our list. Okay, 34 works. And cool, okay, so we removed it. The one issue that I just realized is we didn't actually free any of the nodes, so we have a memory leak on our program. Let's actually fix that real quick. Previous next equals current next. Now we get to free current and set current equal to null so that we don't ever have access to that again. There we go. We're done with the remove node. Now we have the final operation, insert a node into a position in the list. So this one's pretty simple. We have our head, it points out to a position of node one and this is position zero, let's say. Position two is position one, or data two is position one. We want to insert in between these two, right? So what we can do is we create our new node that is node number four, and we're going to insert it into position one, which means we'll put it in front of node number two. So what we'll do is we'll just say that we make this new node, the new node is equal to the current next. So it'll point out to node three, and we'll say that the current next is equal to us. So we're going to effectively remove this link, which is exactly what we wanna do. So let's make that happen in C. So we'll say node pointer, insert node int data int position. We're gonna say that node current is equal to head. And we're to say that while current is not equal to null, position is not equal to zero, we'll just get position minus minus. If we get to this position here and we say that if position is not equal to null to zero, we return null. And we print out that requested position too far into list. Because what happens here, if we get to this position here, in this loop, we're iterating over the entire list until position becomes zero. If we get here and it's not zero, that means we've encountered the end of the list before we meant to, which means that we asked to go too deep into the list. So we will we'll return null here. Now, if we get past this point, we've successfully actually gotten to a point where we can insert our node into the list. So we'll say that node new is equal to malloc size of node, new node, data is equal to data. Say that the new node next equal to current next. And we'll say that current next is equal to new. So that effectively points us to the node in front of our current and it points the current at us, putting us in the middle of those two nodes and then we return the new node. So again, we'll do the same thing as before. We'll say what position, we'll call it option two. We'll say that node new is equal to insert node and the arguments were I believe data and position, right? Data and position, yep. So we'll say option, option two. We get null back if new is equal to null. Say simply fail to insert into list. Cool, all right, so let's go ahead and try that out. Option two, oh, okay, this should be zero and not null, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and run it. Uh, first, let's try to add a node to a blank list. We'll say insert data one into position 10. So it's too far into the list. We failed to insert into the list. Okay, great. Um, let's say add a node to the list. We'll make the data at position one. We'll say the data, we'll make it one, print our list. And we'll say add a node to the list. I want to insert data four at position zero. I'll print our list out. Okay, cool. So we put it at the end, or we put it at the front of the list. It's actually exactly what we want. That's awesome. Um, now let's say remove data one, print the list for, now I want to insert data five at position zero. Aha, so it crashed. Okay, so we did find a error, I believe. 
I'm gonna try it out in GDB and see if I can get that error to happen again. Um, let's see. Add, let's do add a node. Oh, it's because I typed freaking five, dude. That's the issue. Okay, so the issue is if our option is five. <laughs> if we ever use the number five in any of our arguments, it crashes the program. Uh, that's interesting. It doesn't crash it. it. It properly does what it's supposed to do. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to make a new, let's call it arg1, arg2, 0, 0. Because if we put the option 5 for any of these, it's just wrong. So we'll call this arg1. Cool. Okay, let's try it again. I was like, I, I didn't see it per, uh, print that there's a segmentation fault. So why did that happen? Add a node, add one. Add, an, add element number four, add element number five, print the list, five, four, one. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's it. Uh, there is your linked list. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, leave me, do me a favor, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of data structure you want to see next, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.